apology. Come on, dude. I won the Pot Please, man. Please, come on. Hey! Right, it's assaulted me now. Guys, I got a Scouser hater, look. Welcome to Liverpool. I didn't think the soundtrack to the apocalypse would be beautiful Spanish guitar. Some people would want a clear shot of Liverpool without people milling all over it, but for me it's the people milling all over it that makes the shot. Very still here at Albert Docks. We come round to the uh, uh, cube on on booze, that's a drunk man's interpretation of a black cube. And we come round to the former headquarters of Liverpool PD. Now it's just an empty husk, an empty shell, once former glorious, now just literally a starving skeleton corpse of nothingness. Kind of like this country in the last 20 years. All right, welcome to a slightly more corporatized, concretized, zero tree MS, Marks and Spencer's Bank Arena, next to the ACC Conference Center. Now they're threatening me with some plain clothes police. And I love a place that's not only got the kind of ball camera of not allowed, it's also got the tannoy megaphones of shouting at you if you misbehave in public. You gotta love Great Britain. And here, you know, they are. Uh, you give a nice notice to threaten the ticket touts, blah, 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 which is fine. I'm still obsessed about the audio video uh, peasant control measures they've got here. So, uh, just shot my bit about the concrete, soulless, ballless, spiritless, natureless, treeless, hell, 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 <laughs> hell hole landscape dystopia. And uh, I shit you not, I literally came across this and I had to kick it over. I thought it was a, a general not allowed, but it's a no bees live here. Now, what would the bees fertilize here? What would the bees fertilize? Nothing. Noisy bastard, that's to re-say that last bit, thanks to you. Well, here's a funny one. At the, just right next to the things we've just been filming at, there's the Exhibition Centre Liverpool. And today, they've got, come on banner, refresh, a teacher's convention. You know those lovely creatures that fill your children's minds full of really useful information for the future so that they can live wholesome and uh, reasonable lives in the social arena. Well, scan the QR code to view CYD. I'm sure it said teacher's convention. I could be wrong. It could just be a show. I'm seeing quite a lot of like dancer type people. Dancers, maybe. The CYD regional. That might be what we're... The CYD. What is CYD? Come on, refresh. Having milled around for a few minutes now, it's definitely something about girls and dancing. So you gotta be careful as a man on his own with a camera. Every normie, NPC, Donna, every angry person here is wanting to shout at someone for uh, fictional and like phantom perversions. And so uh, <laughs> you gotta tread carefully, that's all I'm saying. The, the normies are revolting. Okay, I think we can film these ones. Just about. They look over. There's, yeah, definitely some sort of dance convention going on. It's uh, not my uh, glass of champagne, but if this is your glass of champagne, then enjoy it. And if, like me, you watched the video to Michael Jackson's Thriller at an early age, Nothing has ever matched it since. It is potentially the greatest music video ever made. Right, copyrighted music, I've got to talk over this. But, uh, yeah, if you like urban interpretive, interpretative dance, then maybe it's your bag. Go. Hi, my name's Phil, and you're watching the Charlie V Show. Thanks, Phil. Lefties eating themselves. What kind of new left party do we need? Panel discussion. Uh, revolutionary ideas, ideas so dangerous. You'll get thrown in jail for saying it. Look how angry, she's angry. She's, she's talking revolutionary ideas. You know, uh, this socialist has got a double-barreled surname. <laughs> Come on, mate, show your face. Come on, show your face if you're gonna be a hater. Show us your nice teeth. 
Show us your nice teeth. You came up to me with those nice teeth. I actually think I'm quite beautiful compared to you. Skinny little fucking small testicled little twats. Go on. Small testicled. No, you're all right. You've not been a hateful. But you, my little, you're a little runt. You wouldn't have been allowed to live in the past. They'd have thrown you to the fucking fire. Fuck off, you chav. You little dirty chav. Go take your bad teeth and fuck off. Thanks for the content, anyway. Oh, don't run away, mate. Don't run away now. Don't run away, mate. I'll give you a chance to apologize. All right, well, tell you what. Don't worry about it then. You take take your little skinny frame. Did you just try and throw a cigarette at me? Wee! Little baby. Very rare. The elusive Scouser hater, the Liverpool hater. I don't have very many. It's been about a year since anyone gave me hate on the streets of Liverpool. I always praise this city. I think it's a beautiful city. I love my rival Billy Moore, who I believe is from this city. But uh, as you see, a lot of these runty, runty little guys. They build up this idea that they're going to beat me up in public and then they meet me in public and they, they corpse it, they, they fold. <laughs> is it that some men, when they dress like women or whatever this is, uh, use hypersexualized prostitute women's form? They're literally doing woman face and their idea of femininity is prostitution and whore-like dressing. Ah, I am Jack's jaded and cynical heart. It is a nice looking city, old uh, Liverpool. And I love the fact we're in mid October and everyone sat outside. Whenever it's dry in Britain, we're a very outdoor culture. But unfortunately, it's a very wet country as well, which gives us our, you know, not always voluntary indoor culture, which uh, in this case happens to be pubs and alcohol and drunkenness, which uh, we shouldn't slate it too much. That kind of behavior did conquer the entire planet to the point where the sun never set on the British Empire. There's something about Northern European drunks. They're like, wow, I'm not satisfied with this. Let's go conquer the world and colonize it. Let's go take their assets. And anyway, I'm not against that. They were, what were they doing anyway? What were they doing anyway? It's not like the uh, spear throwing um, natives needed petroleum, did they? They didn't need it. We do. It's not like the, um, um, oh God. No, that'll do for examples, that'll do. Where was I? What was I doing? I was doing something. Well, that's a good question for my viewers. Did the Bantus of West Africa, you know, Congo, Liberia, Sierra Leone, did the Bantus care about diamonds until the Europeans said that the shiny shiny was nice? I, I don't know. Maybe my viewers will know. Did the Bantu tribe of West Africa care about diamonds or mine them or know how to mine them before those uh, drunken Northern Europeans came along and said, oh, shiny, shiny. The wife will like this. Good one. La Parilla Mexican Tapas, and we've got this Bangladeshi man called Ranjit. He's been uh, LARPing as a Mexican for the last seven years. Hey, mate, how are you? Not really Ranjit from Bangladesh. He's probably Mexican, but uh, I don't know why I said that. I'm a bad person. Madam, may I compliment the beauty of that black and white pigeon, that grey and white marbled oh, pigeon? You said that to my friend. Isn't that the it's most pretty pigeon you've ever seen in your life? Let's get a zoom in on that one. If you throw the bread, I'll grab it. I'm going to take it home. I'm only joking, I'm only joking. <laughs> but that is, a, that is a handsome pigeon. That is a beautiful pigeon, look at that. I reckon he's escaped from a fancier. Do you think so? I reckon, because he's... Oh, he's ripped the ring off. He's a, he's a true, true uh, feral bird now, look at that. Look how he mogs the other birds. He's just faster, stronger, prettier. The lady was super sweet and uh, she appreciated how I appreciated her appreciation of the beautiful pigeon. Liverpool Central, which I say this every time I come here. I, I've only got a small repertoire of jokes, but just shocked that it's not the main station in Liverpool. First cops of the day spotted. What are they up to? Always hiding behind the pole. I had Crutchy behind the pole and now I've got caught behind her. Now this girl in the foreground thinks I'm filming her. I'm not. I'm trying to get above you guys. Jesus. Oh, God. It's the Cafe 69. Ooh, we're a sailor. Um, they've gone into... The two cops have gone into 24 School Lane. Hmm. They joined me for a pint at the Brass Monkey. I used to drink in a Brass Monkey in Edinburgh. 
just off George the Fourth Bridge, if you know it. They have big, big leather sofas, and they put movies on, like old, old movies. And you says, drink beer, lie back, and fall asleep in the sofa. That's right. And we look up a square tumor on the side of the building. I should get that removed, mate. I know a good architect. Hey, after that confrontation with the elusive Liverpool hater, his brother, who was there with him, you saw me say to him, like, you're not so bad, you've not abused me. Anyway, I was down the main drag, and then the brother and some women turn up, and I'm like, dude, I'm sorry about your mate, he's horrible. And he's like, that's my brother. And I said, I'm sorry he's your brother. And he's like, why? I said, because he's horrible. And then the, w the women, the middle-aged women, leave him alone, he's a child? I said, I looked at him. I said, your child's got a beard. And she's like, what, children can't have beards? And I was like, no. The architecture from the past, when apparently people didn't treat peasants very well. Now we allegedly treat peasants very well, but we don't build stuff like that. We condemn the peasants to live in um, Soviet boxes. Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly's art. It's okay, Billy. Very stripy horse you got there. A very zebra-esque. And I remember watching Billy, comedy, Billy Connolly comedy with my dad when I was a young boy. And as a 10-year-old, shocked by his last chicken at Sainsbury's, oh, I'll lift up my fucking shaft and you look at my balls and it looks like the last chicken at Sainsbury's. <laughs> the record shop next to the nice Arkies. Give you context. Main drag streets there. Liverpool One shopping centre is there. And Probe Records is here. Now have that masculine urge to visit Japan during cherry blossom season. Let's go, guys. It's only... £1,500 to get there. An economy, which I don't fit in. I've been looking at art now for all of 30 seconds and I only like the keep it unreal sad chimp. The sad Banksy chimp is my kind of art. I'm loving this guy's hair, look at that. That is good hair. As a man with very little hair, I, I appreciate that guy's big hair. Brilliant. But it keeps him warm as well, that hair. I'm sure it's real, I'm sure it's not a wig. Check this out. You can queue to sit with a Paddington bear himself and his marmalade sandwich. And there's a queue to do so. Why not? The corner of Liverpool won. And I'm hoping... Hello, mate. All good. I'm hoping that whoever lost these glasses is reunited with them. Liverpool this Sunday because I love Liverpool, but also to give you guys a chilled video, but we're not gonna get it because the pro Hamas, pro Hezbollah guys have arrived. They're here. Let's pass the American magician. Let's pass the American. He's got a good crowd going. He might be Canadian. I want to share something quick though. It's what I believe magic is all about. Go on, sir. As a child, I learned- Go on, sir. When you take a piece of rope, you tie a knot. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Free, 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 free Hezbollah. Oh, they got the stunt babies out. Hello, mate. Could you please not? Could you please not, dude? Don't. Sorry? Don't do it. Don't ram your bike into me. Don't do it. Don't do it, dude. It's not worth it. You're not that guy. Why did you come up to me? You're not that guy, bro. You're not that guy. Why did you come up to me? Because you rammed your bike into me? Just now. Anyway, that's a nice metal pole. I'd advise you to not come too close to me because uh, you're carrying an offensive weapon, sir. Leave it alone, Grandad. Jews say free Palestine from Hamas, surely. From Hamas, free Palestine from the terror of Hamas. Why did you insult me? Don't come close to me again. Why did you insult me? Because you're attacking me with your bicycle. You are, sir. Kids dead. Because of Hamas, my friend. No. Hamas. Hamas are the resistance. No, no, where's the hostages at? 
Yeah. Where's the hostages at? Where's the hostages at? Could you guys not get so aggressive with me? I'm by myself here. There's a thousand of you. Why are you getting so aggressive with me? Because you're shouting in my face. Could you come on, Granddad. Could you apologize? Respect my space. Could you apologize to me? Granddad. Come on, Granddad. You insulted me. Come on, Granddad. Listen. Look at this. Please apologize. Why don't you apologize? Why don't you F off? Why don't you F off and go support terrorists somewhere else? <laughs> the name's Charlie Veach. I support Israel. I don't support hostage takers. Why, you, why don't you apologize to me? You've just told me to F off. Please F off. Please F off. Apologize to me now. You're giving me the content I need for my channel. So I know thank your you. channel. I know your channel. That's why you came to hit me with your no, bike. No, no, oh. No, no, listen. Look, look, your minder, your minder. He's getting aggressive. Madam, he's getting aggressive. He's getting aggressive like his no, friends in Hamas. No, no, no. You're getting aggressive like your mates in Hezbollah. Business. Question is, where's where's the where's the hostages at? No, no, you support child kidnapping. You owe me an apology, please, sir. I'm Come on, mate. You owe me an apology. I owe you nothing. You, you get give nothing. me an apology, I will leave. I'm never going to apologize to you. Where are the hostages? Which hostages? Where's the hostages? I don't know. You so why are you supporting Hamas then? I don't support. Hamas. Why did you ram me with your bike? I didn't ram you with your bike. No, no, He's giving me the content I need. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking. I like I like your silver tooth. I like your silver tooth. I'm just looking for an apology. Dude, you're in my space. Come on. I want an apology. Come on, dude. I want the put my nerves, man. Please, come on. Hey! He's assaulted me now. Hey! He's assaulted me. Yeah, assaulting people. Yeah, I want him to get away from me. You're assaulting me. Look at these people. Where are the hostages? Why are they supporting hostage takers? Where are the hostages? Where are the child bombers? Hostages and in prisons, 8,000 of them. Where's the hostages, you scumbags? Where's the hostages, you scumbags? Oh, they leave me alone now when I push them back. Okay, fair enough. In the argument, and these nice guys came to support me. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Up to me. Yeah, so done. we're going to go. I've got some backup now. Yeah. We're going to go and ask, ask the scumbags where the hostages are. Very simple question. Go on, Jake. My name's Jake and you're watching the Thanks, mate. So, um, let's ask someone wearing a face mask. Wait. I want to get one that's LARPing. Oh, there's a tall one. Oh, we've spoken to him before. No, oh, here we go. 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 Dude, don't hit me with a metal stick. Don't do it. You're not that guy. Trust me, you're not that guy. It's making me lose even more hair. I'm losing hair. Where's the hostages? Where's the hostages? Where's the hostages? Where's the hostages? The hostages will be died because it's Netanyahu, mate. Yeah, of course they are, mate. Of course they are. Where's the hostages? Well, maybe a lot of them were Hamas, mate. The hostages will be died because of Netanyahu. I don't believe that. Yeah, yeah, he will kill them. Should they not give them back? He killed before. Should they not give them back? No, until we get our president, mate. All the people... Oh, so you support there, keeping the hostages? Yes, yes, All right. I am. Look at this. Look at them. I'm a coward. Don't come too close, dude. Don't come too close. Again, like, come on, Dan. Come on, man. Come on, come on. You're coming. You keep. I keep telling you like ten times to leave me alone. I know you got. You're a terrorist supporter. Come on. You're a scumbag. And that makes you a terrorist supporter? Whatever, you tell me. You're not from Scotland. You sound like a Scot. You are so confused. And a man your age should, should know better. Scotland. You should know You're better. Like I'm going to give you any information. You're a terrorist supporting scumbag. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. Are you not ashamed? I'm going to take one step back just so that I can't feel your breath. So are you not ashamed of people to and assault Are you not ashamed of supporting people that literally kidnap babies? You scumbag, you scumbag. I've had enough of you anyway. So, check this out. Look at this, look at this. 
Did me having to push you back, did it upset you? Having to get pushed back, did it upset you? I believe this might be a, a disorganized protest. Usually there's police with these protests. And uh, look at the drivers here. Jaguar man, he's had enough. Jaguar man's had enough. Hey man, I'll get them. Come on, yeah, come on, move out of the way, move out of the way. Come on, let them go past. Come on, let them go past. Who's gay men online or in the closet? Let, uh, do that. My partner's in the closet. That's calm down, calm down. Come on, let them pass, let them pass. Let them pass, come on, come on. Just just drive, just drive. Go around them, go around them, go around them. Just drive, mate. They, they're not, this is an unauthorized protest. Go on, mate. On you go, bro. Go on. Good man, take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> Cottages exposing men who might be in the closet, ruining their lives. Hey, if they're down the cottage, cottaging, they deserve it, dude. Sorry. No, you do <laughs> they do. Come on, show your face. Come on, show your face. There you go. I don't like racist cunts like this guy. I don't like men who abuse gay men like that. That's disgusting. I got loads of gay viewers and gay friends. And they just don't act in lewd acts in public. You support the cottagers. You're giving me the content I need, so thank you. Anyway, we're on the road. We're on the road, bro. We're on the road. Tell your cottaging friends to stop cottaging. Look who it is, it's Grandad. Grandad's back. Anyway, the good news is the police are here. The police are here, boys. The law are here. Yeah, yeah, me too, just for your courtesy, yeah, yeah. 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 Mr. Veach, yeah, hello. Another thing, as an Irish person. Dude, you stick as well, man, you stick. No, he called himself. I'm reporting a hate crime as an Irish person. Okay, so I'm going to speak to this gentleman. Yeah. Physical assault. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Let me tell you what. No, no, but listen. Physical. Get his name. Physical assault. Listen to what I'm saying to me. Two of us. Two of us. Listen to me. 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 Two of us. So I, I filmed down, I filmed his leg, said, come on, man, don't get... And he's like, what, what, what? And then he kept attacking me about 10 times. I said, please go back. He kept following me yeah. until he came right in my face. So I, I had to push him back. Okay, that's fine. So, uh... Would you like to make a complaint against him for assault? I don't want to make a you complaint. Make I felt I handled it well. He gave me the content I needed and I was able to secure my own safety without okay. requiring any... Um, Just for the purpose of a crime report, would you want to give me details? Yeah, happy to. Yeah, yeah, I'll just switch off the camera. Real, yeah. I'm happy to show you the footage as well, obviously. <laughs> He's uh, trying to get me arrested for um, blocking traffic or instructing cars to drive around them. Very angry. The policeman's telling him, you're showing me evidence of you blocking a road, you're obstructing a public highway, and you're trying to get Charlie Veach arrested for trying to clear the public highway. It's fire. It's uh, backfired on the fluorescent boy here. Fluorescent boy, it's backfired on him. The guy in the fluorescent jacket, he's still kicking off. 
still kicking off and he's behind the pole as is a regular on this channel now he's just come to try and attack me and the police are having none of it as he walked past I said oh did it work getting me arrested and then he, he came for me and I wish I was filming in time I wish I was filming in time he's gonna get himself busted imagine you try and get the youtuber arrested and then you get arrested yourself Hiya! we'll stick around for a few seconds just in case there's extra Sorry about that last clip the battery ran not battery the f I had to delete some files but I don't think there's any more work for me here you're watching the Charlie Beach show and what's your name Matthew thank you Matthew and the inside of Liverpool Lime Street station might be interesting for the international audience what does a, a British major train station look like on the inside well it ain't no Grand Central Station it isn't even the demolished Pittsburgh train station it's still a bit Victorian and it's Liverpool Lime Street so in case in case in case I don't make any more videos today because maybe my work is done I just want to say thank you all for watching my name is Charlie Beach and I'll see you as always on the next one